Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today on my channel we are going to be talking about my five favorites and one regret for the month of April. I can't believe it's May guys. I am so excited. My favorite season of the year is summer. I love nothing more than sitting on the beach, reading a book. It is just I love it. I cannot say enough good things. I am so excited that this year we are already at our Cape House. Typically we don't come until MJ gets out of school, but he is still virtual, so I am super excited about that. Next key thing, I cut my hair. I am so excited. It had been since last June was the last time I had it cut and colored professionally. I touch up my own color with a color that my hairdresser gave me. I didn't have a hairdresser here that I knew or liked. And I found someone and when I had COVID, I could not go. That's when I had to cancel my appointment. So she booked so far out my appointment for the color highlights and cut it was not until May, the end of May. And so I just called, I said, does she have any cancellations for a haircut? Just a haircut, because I knew that would take less time and I am in love with it. I am so happy to have it back to like a short bob. It's just so easy to deal with. I am just, I can't say enough good things. I'm so excited about this. If you are new around here and you're just wondering, why is this girl rambling on? Today, I'm going to be talking to you about the five items that I absolutely loved for the month previous and maybe one item that didn't work out for me. Now, if you are new around here, I would love if you subscribed and followed along here. I am also always, always, always over on my Instagram. So if you want to direct message me over there or get in contact very quickly with me, that is the easiest way to do so. Now, let's Let's jump right in. The first item I'm going to talk about. If you've been around here for any period of time, you will know I have loved, loved, loved these for I don't even know how long. It's been so long. I just love them so much. This is the Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfector in the color 06 Rosewood Shimmer. By far my favorite color. I have these two here. I keep one in by my desk. I keep one in my purse. I keep one in my vanity with all my makeup. I keep one in my car. I keep one in Marty's car. I keep one in my beach bag. These are a absolute staple must have for me. I love a good chapstick and I love my lips to feel moisturized, but chapsticks, when it gets nice out, melt in the car, melt in your purse, they make a mess. This is a sponge tip applicator that you squeeze up to get the product out and then you just, uh, it's so creamy. Now this is not a chapstick, but it is so smooth. It smells a little, very, very slight bit like vanilla. It's not tacky like a typical gloss or something like that. It's super smooth. It feels so nice. It moisturizes your lips amazingly and it gives you that your lips but better when you have nothing on your lips and when you have something on, it just gives it a beautiful sheen. I cannot say enough good things about these. Now I have tried some other colors and I have had friends that liked other colors in here better. This is just my tried and true go-to. None of the others really worked for me. I love, love, love that. Now, next thing I'm going to talk to you guys about, this is my new, I just, I have never been a big primer person for makeup. I was always like, is it really doing anything? This one I tried, I've been trying it for over a month now, and I use it every day consistently, two pumps of it. Colleen Rothschild is the Black Tourmaline Face Primer. This primer, oh, look at that shadow. Sorry about that. This primer is made for all skin types. I am oily combination skin type, and this is amazing. It helps to mattify. It also has skincare properties to it that help your skin feel hydrated and nice. There are no silicones in this, so it's not gonna sit on top of your skin, which is my problem with a lot of primers. I feel like it's a layer on top. This evens out your skin tone. It fights against any environmental barriers out there. So, you know, any pollution, any anything like that getting into your skin. It feels amazing. I will show you what a pump of this looks like. It's interesting because it is black in color, but here, I'll put it on my, but when you rub it in, it just goes completely clear. It, see how it, it doesn't have like much of a sheen to it. It just makes your skin feel so hydrated and look so amazing. There is no scent that I notice whatsoever because I know a lot of people are sensitive to scent. This is just 
such an amazing primer. I love, love, love this. Talking about skin, let's talk about the next item here. This is an absolute must have for me. This, especially at this time of year. We're not quite nice enough where we're able to be outside, but we're over that winter skin. And this is my, I have a red undertone to my skin. Let's start with that red pink undertone. My go-to self tanner it is Loving Tan Two Hour Express in the color medium. Medium is my go-to. I accidentally ordered the dark last time and I think it is great for my legs, but the rest of my body, it's kind of just a tinge too dark for my skin type and my tone. This medium works great. The two hour express, you can wash it off in two hours. I tend to just leave it on. I put it on at night, go to bed, sleep with it on. The next day, get up and wash it off. It does have a tint to it. You can probably see on this one, it's a little bit around here. It is a mousse product. It is amazing how fast it dries. That is a key thing for me. I want it to dry. I want to get clothes on and I want to get on with my day. Now I wouldn't necessarily put on a white t-shirt with this, but I've never had it really transfer on anything for me. So just as a note, it doesn't transfer on my sheets or anything like that. It does have a very light self tanner smell, a little bit like coconutty. It is so easy. I love the tint to it. I love that it has that red undertone. So many people love St. Tropez, the St. Maurice. Um, I like Isle of Paradise. That one works well for me. But, and tan Tanceuticals, was it? That one did not work for me. I have tried so many different ones over the year, and this has just really worked for me. You can actually buy this at Ulta. It used to only be available through their site, and I ordered it because I love it that much, but this is really good. Another key thing with this I will say is so important. Where did I get? I think I got this just on Amazon, is to have a good mitt. You can just throw this in the laundry and wash it, but this makes self-tan application so good. I will tell you, I personally do start at my neck and work my way down. I know some people say to work your way up. I start at my neck and my arms and my chest and work my way down. I never do the backs of my hands or my feet until the very, very, very end. With the mitt, whatever is left on the mitt at the last thing, I just go right over the tops. I don't go all the way onto my fingers and I put moisturizer on first. But I just go right here and bring it down and then I put more moisturizer on after it is dried to really work it in so that there is no line there, no noticeable, I mean, you can see how it just fades down like it would naturally if you were in the sun. When you are in the sun, you get the most color on your body and then your extremities kind of fade out. You never see someone who has their feet and their hands exactly the same color as everything else, or at least in my skin type or tone, it does not. The next item I wanna to talk to you guys about is something that I found out about, I had heard people talking about it for quite some time. I tried it for the first time over this last year, and I it's something that I use every single day, but I never think to tell you guys about it. And I placed another order recently, so I was like, oh, I need to tell them about this. And it is a hair tie. It is by a brand called Gimme. You may see them on my wrist all the time. This is the medium one. I have all the sizes here. I'll actually take them out and show it to you. So we've got small or thin, medium and thick or large okay they come in all different colors you can get a pack that has a bunch of different colors you can get a solid color pack i had this one i will say that the larges tend to be my favorite and hold my hair really well in a high pony or when i wrap it the thing i love about these a they stretch great they do not leave a crease on your hair so important to me. I sleep with my hair back. I don't wash my hair every day. I work out with my hair up. I don't want a crease or a line in my hair. I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. And so I will say that the large or thick one and the medium ones are my two go-to favorite ones, but I love all of them. I like the thin ones. Um, I use them when I was like doing little French braids and things like that, just to get down the back because I can wrap it a bunch of times, these larger ones that doesn't work so well with. So I'm glad I have that. I did get a trial kind of, what is that called? I think it's a starter kit. So it comes with the black set. You can see I've already opened these. And then it comes with a 
scrunchie, which is great for sleeping and working out. And then it comes with two of the tied off hair ties, the ones that have the little knots at the bottom of them. So, and a cute little bag. So this is a great starter set if you wanna try this. It did come with the larger bands. Now also in that same family, I picked up two months ago, three months ago, this hairbrush from them. It is the Detangle Brush, the one for fine hair. Smartest thing ever. These are done by your hair type. There are different descriptions of how much give is there depending on your hair type. I have fine hair, I got the fine hair one. They have one for medium and one for thick. It is so nice and it just glides through your hair so nicely. I have a bunch of product in my hair, but we're gonna go all the way around, even it all the way out. It just doesn't tug, it doesn't pull, it doesn't tangle, and it just makes your hair feel amazing. I am obsessed with this brush. I was telling my girlfriend about it recently because I was like, she was picking up some hair ties and I was like, if you need a brush, get this brush. It is so, so, so good. A few months ago, Gimme did contact me and provide me with my own discount code for you guys. So that is awesome. I use it too. Trust me. I want a discount when I'm buying them too. So I will put that down below. I believe it is Lisa SZ20. The last item I'm going to talk to you guys about, and you're probably sick of hearing about this because it has been, I would say since the fall, I have had this and talked about it consistently. It is this blazer here. It is from an online store called Vera Shop, but the brand is called Blue Revival. And this is actually a blazer that comes with this jean part in it. It zips in and out. You have probably seen this. If you follow me on Instagram, it is all over because I wear it all the time. You can wear it with this jean jacket. You can take the jean jacket out if you want a different look to it. It also comes in a black jacket, which I have as well, and the jean jacket comes with it. It was recently on sale. I hope it still is. It is so, it's also super stretchy. It is a sweatshirt material. So this is not your typical kind of structured blazer. It has a lot of give to it. You have a lot of space. You can fit, I wore it all winter with sweaters underneath of it. It just is such a great looking blazer, but it's so cozy and comfy. I just can't say enough good things about this. I love it. Now, if I had a choice only to have one or the other, I would personally go with the camo one. It just gets so many uses with a black pair of jeans. You can wear it with a pair of leggings. I've worn it with joggers. I wear it dressed up. I mean, you can wear this so many different ways. It is just so versatile. It's a great little item in the summertime. If you're going into a restaurant, keep this in your car. You can throw it on and it has a like cozy sweater feel. Like it doesn't feel like a structured blazer, but gives you so many different layers to an outfit and just such a great look. I love this. I think it was originally when I bought it 178 and it was recently, as I mentioned, on sale. I have washed all of these pieces time and time again in the washer and the dryer with no issues, no shrinking, no anything. I mean, you can roll the sleeves and get a more casual look, show a little bit of that sweatshirt there. I just absolutely cannot say enough good things about this. I just, I know I'm a broken record about this, but when I love something, I want to tell you guys about it time and time again. It's that good. Now on to my regret. My regret is an item that I no longer have because I just did not love it to that extreme. I just got rid of it. And it is the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Lengthening Mascara. Apparently it has this huge makeup artist like cult following and everybody loves it and it's so buildable and this, that, and the other. It flaked on me, it transferred, it didn't separate my lashes, I didn't like the brush. I have a full review on it if you wanna hear all about my thoughts on it so you know what I did and didn't like and what I look for in a mascara. It just did not work out for me. I have gone back to my tried and true Gucci mascara that I picked up again during the Sephora Rouge VIB spring whatever sale because it's pricey, but I love it. It is just, it works on my lashes and just 
It is the best mascara that I have found for my eyes. So those are my five favorites and my one regret. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this style of video and you were new around here, I would love if you hit the subscribe button and follow it along. I do load these every single month around the beginning of the month. And as always, if you have any questions about anything I talked about here, feel free to put a comment down below or go over to my Instagram page and leave me a message or send me a DM over there. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day.